She was just 18 years old. Her life cut short when she was shot and killed while riding her bicycle over the summer. We love you, Takaya, and we still gonna fight for justice every day until, until we get justice. Kaya Allen was an 18-year-old Oakland University student killed near Yates Park on Detroit's west side in July. Her family hasn't let her memory nor her murder fade from the present. Jason Colthorpe live tonight with the latest on the case as her family held a vigil for her tonight. You know, Kim, so many families have unfortunately experienced this. They have a tragedy happen. Someone is killed. There's intense scrutiny around it at first, and if it goes unsolved for any mo moment of time, it starts to fade away. Well, Takaya Allen's family refuses to let that happen. Speak up, because this could be your daughter. It's been 107 days since Takaya Allen died. She was riding her bike near Linwood and Pingree on the city's west side July 21st when out of nowhere, shots were fired from a passing car hitting Takaya. We want justice for her so I'll be able to have peace and my family to have peace. Each of those 107 days has been held for Takaya's mother, Kai Cooks. I've been doing okay. I've been taking a day at a time. It's still hard. Um, just pray. Family and friends have no problem honoring her short life. Very sweet, active, funny. <laughs> or describing her aspirations to become a medical professional. They've done it time and again. Days after the murder. Peace! Justice! A walk on August 5th and a vigil on September 8th, what would have been Takaya's 19th birthday. Power! Power! And justice! And justice! And again, Friday night. We want Justice. Justice. Because they will not let her memory or the people who took her from them slip away silently into the dark. We're not going to fall asleep on this. We're going to keep it in the air, keep her name going. So if they watching, they know we're not giving up. And they'll have to keep doing that uh, because as of tonight, Detroit police has no update on this case. However, if anyone out there knows anything about this, remembers that day, remembers anything from the scene, you can call on a tip anonymously. In fact, you have no other choice but to remain anonymous by calling Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. We're live tonight. Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. Yeah, okay. Jason, thanks.